four, three, two, one. We go live with NIND Radio on air. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to The Hague, the international city of the Netherlands. My name is Andrew Makinga, as was said. Some people say Makinga. Uh, I call it part of my covert training here at NIMD uh, to eventually bring democracy back to Uganda. Oh, no, I shouldn't say that. No, but I am a radio presenter. Um, very happy to be here because I think uh, when you celebrate something that is called democracy and when you support political parties, it's something that deals with the reality of the world today. It's not always easy. You have to deal with the reality on the scene, and therefore I'm very honored to be here today with the delegates, the international partners, so that we can celebrate 15 years of NIMD and look towards the future. And we're going to start with our Dutch Minister of Foreign Trade and Development Corporation, uh, uh, Minister Plumen. She's familiar with the, the NIMD, uh, has worked with the NGO sector, she's been uh, the chair of the Dutch Labour Party. Basically, she knows everything about political parties. Could we give her a very warm welcome? Thank you for coming. Yeah, um, my pleasure. I think yeah. the last time we met was at the Africa Day. Huh? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And you had some very personal questions for me at that time. We're not going to do that. Okay, we're, just we're democracy gonna, today. We're, we're, we're just going to deal with democracy today. Um, obviously, uh, the Netherlands has a long tradition of demo democracy assistance. And, and uh, my first question is, why is it so important for us to do that? Uh, I think um, we are a democracy ourselves. I mean, many of us have grown up in a democracy and we reap the benefits of that. I mean, you can be who you are, you can say what you want. Um, and I think that is something that we really uh, would like others to enjoy too. Mm. Of course, I mean, there's a whole theoretical paradigm on that, you know, democratic countries are stable countries and stable countries uh, have economic growth and all that. And I mean, I'm sure that you've read all those papers. But uh, the real answer to the question is, um, I love democracy because it's really better for everyone. Yeah. Do you think that there's enough support for this kind of work among politicians and also the general public? Well, I think um, that could be better um, uh, because what you see is that a lot of the work that also, for example, NIMD does is uh, very much behind the scenes. And we here in the Netherlands, we've grown so fond of our own democracy that we don't pay too much attention to it anymore. I mean, we talk about, do we need to have a Senate, yes or no? And is it too easy to start a political party, yes or no? But, I mean, the real core of our democracy is something that we take for granted, which is actually very good. Uh, but, um, so we don't, maybe we, we're not, uh, aware of the fact that in so many countries the concept of democracy that you can have a voice and that you can have a vote that that is uh, uh, something that many people don't have that so yeah a, a bit more um, speak out uh, on uh, uh, being more outspoken on this issue uh, could yeah. be good so we thing. should we should increase the level of support as well Ah, well, this is, yeah, at least the moral support. <laughs> I, I'm talking bank. Not, we need more money. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. that was a joke. No, no. Yeah. no. no. Um, what do you think, uh, what role could political parties play in this? Yeah, I think uh, the NIMD, of course, was an initiative that was very much guarded, if you wish, uh, uh, by the political, the Dutch political parties. Um, and they... And I think that was good because they showed we are a multi-party democracy. So if we talk to you uh, about that, we ourselves know how to do that and we know how difficult it can be. Um, so I think the political support was, uh, was quite good. Uh, and I also think that the body of knowledge and expertise within IMD is so strong now that you don't necessarily need active politicians to do your work uh, 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 in the right way. So I think the role of the political parties has changed a bit. It was very important in the beginning, yeah. uh, but, uh, but it's different now. Okay. Yeah. What, what are your goals for the coming years with regards to this subject? Uh, well, um, I think looking at where the world is, um, uh, there's a, a lack of, of opportunity for people to speak out in many, many contexts. I mean, uh, what has happened in the last weeks in Burundi uh, may not have come as a surprise, and many of 
I think all people in the room, including myself, uh, have tried to prevent uh, this scenario from unfolding. Uh, NAMD is also working in Burundi. Um, and you, so events like that show how important it is that there's, uh, there's a, a balance in the voices that you hear. So, yeah. uh, and I've been, as you said, I've been uh, the, uh, the chair of the president of the Dutch Labour Party. Let me tell you, uh, political parties are amongst one of the most uh, difficult organizations uh, to manage. Uh, oh, uh, is that no, really? true? No, really. Um, no, you know, and um, why did, why, I mean, why is it so I'm difficult for people to organize themselves in a political party? Because, of course, it is about power, and it should be about power. Uh, but power is sometimes a zero-sum game. So how do you deal with that? So in, in constructing a political party, it's not good enough to have the right ideas. You also have to, to have an organization to carry on those ideas. So you really need to invest in uh, things like uh, um, uh, who is, who is uh, how do you elect officials, what is the framework that you work in, how do you organize democracy within your party. It's one of the most complex things to and do. And also staying in touch with the people that want, you of want course, to vote. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Luckily, the, the Labour Party is topping in polls, so that's not going to be uh, yeah. an, an, an issue. How do you think NIMD could uh, contribute to these goals? Because obviously, not being in the political realm mm. could be a pro for them. Yeah, I think you're right there. And this is also why I said that it's, I think in this phase, um, it's okay for the Dutch political parties to be supportive, but not, you know, in the, uh, as a front runner. Yeah. Uh, I do think because NIMD, um, they have built, um, uh, their reputation is very good. Uh, they promote multi-party democracy, which means that uh, they don't care what, what the party thinks, basically, as yeah. long as it's, uh, geared towards uh, democracy and, and playing a role in that democracy. So I think for them to be professionals is more key at this point in time than for yeah. them being politicians. Yeah. But, but with regards to funding, yeah. should we back them more? Um, as, as, as well, that's a difficult question, of course, to ask. Uh, um, it's very rude for them to ask, I, so I'm just... Yeah, I'm yeah. just <laughs> I, I knew well, I could trust you on this. I yeah. know, but it's a, it's a celebration. You bring a gift, That's, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, next question. Next question. Uh, let's get to go, because you have to leave and we don't want to be messing around. Um, uh, Europe. <laughs> well, uh, we, Holland why is going, not? Yeah. Well, <laughs> Holland is going to be chairing the EU in uh, uh, early two, 2016. Um, I know there's a lot of discussion about, you know, do we need a stronger EU or should we cut things down? What, what role do you think we could play in the EU with regards to this, uh, these issues? Yeah, well, I think the, the Netherlands is a key player when it comes to, let me say, um, uh, molding our relations uh, with uh, countries and other parts of the world. Um, what I hear um, from, you know, colleagues from different parts of the world is that what they very much value uh, from the Netherlands is that we don't have a political agenda as such and we don't have usually people say you don't have a history which makes it difficult for your country and my country to work together so within the EU we're one, one of the more vocal uh, uh, players if you, if you use, want to use that word and I think the EU um, is I, I don't like to do things like, uh, uh, I don't like to double efforts. So we are coordinating very strongly with the EU and I think the work that uh, NIMD has been doing, working with other European institutions on promoting democracy is really very relevant. Okay. And um, I mean, uh, I, I have to say, Andrew, here that um, you, post, you framed the question in, uh, uh, in the EU presidency, upcoming EU presidency for the Netherlands. Uh, we will be hosting a, a series of events uh, before and during uh, the presidency. A lot will be about how to make global value chains sustainable uh, and fair. Uh, but I, I can imagine that I, uh, that I also uh, kind of rethink 
uh, if there shouldn't be a more prominent place for promoting democracy and multi-party democracy okay. than we've reserved now. So um, it's not a gift, but it... Well, it's, yeah. well, we accept it, we accept <laughs> it. I have one last question. And, and this one is quite serious because obviously mm. we, have, we have reached um, a certain point here in the Netherlands and we're proud of our democracy. But sometimes you could say we oversee uh, things we could learn from other countries, uh, the way uh, political parties or democracies organize, structured elections. You are the one that goes out into the world and sees a lot. Is there anything you think we could learn from other countries uh, as the Netherlands with regards to this democratic process? Um, I think... In many countries, you see a much stronger involvement of what we call communities, but those are real communities also. Yeah. It's not like this concept, you know, you have to talk to the communities. Uh, but um, I think in many countries, people get together, get organized to, to talk and think about, you know, how can we have a voice? And... Um, I think in, our, in, in the Netherlands, and maybe this is, yeah, I think more people could use their voice. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I um, uh, look at, at many countries, I, I mean, look at South Sudan, which is really in shambles now. Uh, but still, there are groups of women getting together, trying to uh, change things in, in their neighborhood. Yeah. And uh, they succeed because they jointly go to the governor or any it's, local... It's real grassroots. It's, yeah, and um, it's the, the, the issues that are really very close to the heart of, uh, of people. So I, uh, that me, moves me a lot. And sometimes okay. I think we could do that we could even do more. Yeah. Thank you so much. We know Thank you have you. a busy schedule, so you have to be on your way. Could we all just give a, a very loud applause? Yes. Thank you.